Okay, I think this is the last of the dream catchers. Right? Remember rightly? I think I remember it popping up saying there was only one more left before. It was a little while ago that happens. So what the hell happens now? Right? Oh, was I doing that the whole time? I don't remember making a map before. Okay, right. So these are the plot points where they're found. But it doesn't seem like it's pointing to anything specifically, does it? Right? I can't remember. Am I meant to hand this to somebody? Hold for details. You have discovered dream catchers in the world. Find all the dream catchers to reveal the secret within. Is that meant to show me a secret? Huh? Is this meant to show a secret? Oh no, there's a cross in here that isn't linked up. By the lake? That looks like the fucking cave we went to in the last episode. Yeah, it's in here, right? Is it in the cave? Maybe? I could just look it up. Let's go, boy. So wasting a journey, because uh, I'm a little while away. I may do that. <laughs> Inside the cave. Okay. Oh, I should have got the mod that fast travels. I decided I didn't want to because I like being able to just chill. But this is a ball lake now, right? I started here, all the way up here. And I've got to do like a loop all the way to here. I guess I could set up camp and fast travel from that, right? That makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like uh, just travel back to my camp, right? If no, someone might want to talk to us there too, right? It's good to check back in there now and then. Although, they're not very talkative anymore, are they? I think like the instant fast travel mod sort of like gets rid of that cutscene, but I don't really mind having a little cutscene. I don't care. Actually, journal got updated again. Why? No reason. What, what was happened before this? All right, yeah, rain's full. What did I write in here? Went to speak to the chief about the situation. I helped him recover some precious things from the army. He gave me some medicine, which helps me a little. He's a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic, and now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. So we actually heard this, right, in the cutscene at the end of the mission with his inner thoughts that he talks about, right, where we get to see, like, the golden stag, like, f frolicking in the wild. So some of the things we write down, we just hear. The most important things, anyway. Good morning. Yes, Arthur. Have a seat. Glad you're here. Do you want to chat? How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. All right, Mr. Morgan. You did want to talk to me before, right? And we got rudely interrupted by Dutch. I, I guess you don't want to talk no more. Why is there a question mark here? Have I found someone's camp item or something? Where's this? No, no, what are you doing? Go around. Oh, someone wants to have a chat. Mary Beth, hello. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? We can, but before when I've done this, it's sort of just the same one, right? I sort of just moan about killing animals needlessly. How can I sit? Oh. <laughs> you good? You okay, Arthur? Not really. Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. See, I don't understand those conversations because we talk like we're like oh, low honor, right? It doesn't make Forgive any sense now. because we're not. Maybe I, I guess I'll take it as Arthur just sort of self-doubting himself, right? Even the small you things he dreads down? on. Oh, oh hello, Trollunit. Didn't realize just you were here. Want this to be over. Yes, well, not much good news these days. No, none at all. Like we're comparing ourselves to Micah. Like, come on, behave. Killing and robbing people we don't need to. Get you like I mean I guess it could allude to some missions, right? 
but outside and gameplay wise, we don't really do that. Eh, we don't get much low on them, mate. I mean, look, look, the bar's all the way to the top. Why can we not get a bit more of a positive conversation? It just sort of feels like, right, that conversation would be happening even if we were, like, on the opposite side of the bar. Causing mayhem? Like, we've not been causing mayhem. But then maybe if we were at the opposite side of the bar, we wouldn't have that self-doubting stuff, maybe. Maybe we would just own it? I don't, I don't know. It just seems like it's not really fitting, does it, to actually how we've been playing. At least he didn't say, I've been killing animals needlessly. <laughs> Probably because I've not been shooting the legendary animals anymore. So at least we've removed that part of that conversation. Okay, I think what I need to find in here is in that big opening part. Like our third time in this cave. It's a popular cave. So we're not taking any sort of ill effects now, are we, from the poison? Also, it seems like my stash your lantern mod has stopped working. I can't seem to just stash it on my hip no more. But it doesn't really matter, I'm walking through here. Don't need two hands. Okay, I, th I think it's in here. I don't need this no more. Don't worry. And I think it is actually something that I saw before whilst it's in here, but I didn't actually show it on camera because I thought it was just a stupid little painting. I think it's this over here. This thing. It's actually to do with the dream catchers, I think. Because I couldn't inspect this before when I saw it. I was like, what's the point in this? Okay. Cave painting. Nope. I can't do anything else. I'm sure, I swear it didn't say inspect. What was that? What was that? Take, take ancient arrowhead. What am I looking at here? I was in the hole. I think this is it. I think this is what I'm after from the dream catcher. What does it do? Yeah. What does that do then? Is it just a treasure? Is the ancient secret within the dream catchers? Is this like arrowhead? Is that it? It's pretty shit, isn't it? An old arrowhead that seems to have never been used. Stamina lasts twice as long when using the bow. Okay, that is pretty good. But I don't use the bow. <laughs> I never use the bow anymore. I've hardly used it this playthrough. It's not really helpful to me at all. What a waste of time if we can find all those dream catchers. Because <laughs> uh, with the dream catchers, right, you're not really exploring much because they're just hanging from trees. Because like with the cigarette cards, right, I don't really care about the rewards so much because they actually take you into places right to explore that's why i kind of like doing those the dream catchers are just hanging around in random trees that's a big waste of time <laughs> <laughs> is there anything new here at this rail yard where has everyone gone it's dead here isn't it have they moved further up yep hey get off our land um shall we Take it easy, I'm just needling you. You be wise not to trifle with me. Where's all the workers? Well, I guess they wouldn't have moved up there, right? Because there's still track here to work on. Oh yeah, there is a new encounter here. Okay, cool. Didn't realise it'd be so quick. It does look like they've lost like half of the people here though, at least. How you doing, guy? Is it the same guy? We are scuppered this time. Properly scuppered. The land up ahead got bought out from under us and we can't finish the track. Ah. Uh. They won't admit it, but I just know this is old Leviticus Cornwall's doing. It has to be. No, he's dead. Would you, uh, talk to them for me? Ah. Uh. I'll pay you well, I promise. Yeah, okay. Cornwall, you say? All right, I'll talk to them. But it may take a little convincing. You do whatever you need to do. Sure, I acquired the deeds from those guys that just told me to get off their land, I guess. That's why there's no one here, right? They might as well just send the workers home. Because they can't work. Okay, there's three guys that... How am I going to threaten three guys? I'm not going to be able to beat them all up if that's what I need to do. Maybe you can sh shoot them, <laughs> scare them off, shooting in the air or something. Hey you, what are you doing here? This is private property, you're, you're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so they ain't going any further. Oh, you gonna live here all happily ever after, is that it? What's it to you? You can drop the act. Everyone knows you're Cornwall's nursemaid. He's dead. Why don't you run on home and go wash his fat feet? What the hell did you just say? 
You better start running, you son of a bitch. Must have got it wrong then. Why am I not saying he's dead? Apologies, boys. Might as well just say that I killed him, right? I was scared him off. You know what? On second thoughts. Am I drawing? Oh. Deal with the goon leader. So? He's not even armed himself yet, but is that enough? Anyway, let's do that. Look <laughs> at stumble. I gotta deal with these guys too. Sorry. Probably. Just shoot them all in the arms. Oh, he's draw he's drawn now. Are you surrendering? Surrender. Guys, why am I still lacking their diet? You all surrendered? Have you all surrendered? Is it because he wants me to kill them? Don't draw. This is weird, right? What's happening? They seem to have surrendered. Okay. Is that getting them to go? Go on. Get out of here. I used up like a full bar of dead eye there. That's weird. I see any of you again, you'll wish I shot you too. Lazy bums. Okay. Oh, yeah, that works out okay. Though it was a bit strange. <laughs> Just tell me I'm resigned to the worst. No, I've got the deeds, mate. Here you go. Yeah. One deed to the property. They was very understanding. You got my money. Yes. I was just about to call it a day. Thank you. No problem. Me and Mr. Cornwall go way back. I'm not sure why we're pretending he's still alive. <laughs> How much money? Fifty dollars. Okay. We've actually got a couple of uh, strange missions popped up back in the map. We got the Hamish guy and also the woman up here, right, that we helped hunt in. So, should we do Hamish? Go back to Hamish? You invited me to go fishing, which I think is our chance to catch a legendary fish that I don't think actually applies to the Jeremy Gill stuff. I just think this is just sort of a one-off legendary fish. Knock, knock. The door's open. Hamish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Do we need a boat? Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. That's a legendary fish. But mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well... Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have the spare. What is that? They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. I think I already have that. Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Like, we can fish from the edge, right? Why do we need a boat? Take us over there to the right. We'll set up 10 yards or so offshore. 10 yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha. The optimism of youth. Right here. Okie dokie. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Yep. What is it? Yeah, I already had one of these. Right? I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, <laughs> twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Mm. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting them with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> you spent years making this. I already had one. <laughs> and I bought it in a shop. <laughs> Are you getting anything, mate? I'm not getting nothing. Whoa, what's this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. Hee <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey, you need Come on, now, Tyrant, I got you. I got you. Come on. I ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. Go! Oh, it's a drop back! Uh, hey, oh! Hey, miss! How big is this fish? Row to Hamish. Just swim. Oh, I guess he only has one leg. Stay there. I'm rowing out to you. Row quick. Bastard just bumped me. 
Over here. Yeah, I'm coming. I guess it would be hard to swim with one leg, right? I'd imagine. Although, you know, from that distance, doable, I would have thought. Hey, come on up here. Come on. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can swim yeah. with just arms, right? You lost anything? <laughs> just my rod. <clears throat> would have gotten my toes, too. They weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Okay. Cast away. Okay. Stand up, please, Arthur. I got. Oh, sorry. There's a new fishing spot. From the other way. Yep. Sorry. Over there. Okay. You know where he went? Did you? Did you get a good eye under the water? When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike. That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Are we sure it's a pike? This looks like a fucking shark. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Yep. I have you know, I am a professional. I have caught many a legendary fish. I think... I think I hooked them. Real. Let's land the bastard. Reel it in. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There's no need for the hand steady. motions. Oh, Spool is out of line. Ugh. So f far away, I need to get him in. Do like the trick, right? Where you pull it to you and then... Come on! Come on! Oh, it's going to take a while. Oh, this, this, this fish is going to be a bastard, right? Bring I can already now. tell. I think this is the only chance you get of catching this fish too. I don't think you can catch it outside of this mission, so... we got to get it, boy. You're doing good! I'm so glad I changed the buttons for this. Imagine using the fucking R3 to, to twist around all this. My thumb would ache so much. That's why I used to hate fishing in this game. Because of that, I never realised you could change the buttons. Try pulling that rod up as you reel. On keyboard, it's a little better. It's the same like principle. You press the button. But at that point, I just couldn't be bothered to keep switching backwards and forwards from keyboard to controller. Ah, oh, finally. Now uh, here we go. Damn you. Sorry. What are you sorry for? You caught him. Let's roll back. Fancy some food? Fish and chips? No? Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> uh, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. Sure. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Sure. As long as you're better than Jose. Stand there and watch me get mauled by a bear. <laughs> Could actually head up to Charlotte now, too, actually. Because uh, th these ones have, like, days go by, right, until they pop up again. So I should do them as they pop up. Now, before going to Charlotte Beaufort, I wanted to check in on this little man who lives in a tree, right? King of the tree. Go on, go away. Is that it? I, th I thought we maybe we get more interactions with this guy. Howdy. Oh yeah, we can. What do you want? I'm not sure. Let's just checking up on you. Then become a king. But I didn't know what I wanted. Then I realized 
I could become a king. <laughs> I've been happy ever since. His majesty is always happy. You're happy with the trees? Elated. <laughs> In a regal sort of way. You peasants wouldn't understand. Call me a peasant. Did these trees elect you? I don't think so. Okay, let's now head over to Charlotte. I'm leaving. I'm leaving you and your trees. Your subjects, I should say. Right, tree subjects. Let's hope for your sake they're not Ents. Gosh darn it, not a single one. Shooting practice. Shooting bottles, Charlotte. <laughs> Gonna need to do better than that if you're attacked by wolves. Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but... Um... Well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. Shoot, see. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to just miss. <laughs> I'm not going to. You make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Nope. Did you listen to anything I said? Uh, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Shoot three bottles. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my- There you go. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> All right, let me try again. I mean, technically, I, I missed the three bottles, right? I only shot two. Come on. Come on. Hey! Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. Of course. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Uh-huh. Sure. This is what I thought we were doing last time. Is it just a meal you invited me into? Anything in here to rob? No, I'm not robbing the place. <laughs> Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. I think you can actually home rob this place now, I think. I'm not going to <laughs> like hold her up. I think you can do that. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. You're not one of those people... Okay, it's a place. I was going to say, you're not one of those people who eats off a table, are you? Bon appétit. <laughs> Please enjoy. <laughs> and thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, oh. so many things. Uh -oh. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. Did you poison me? My father was very overbearing 
Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You didn't put some of those berries in this, did you? You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> Killed her husband, now me. I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> yeah, thank you for this. That's not the front door. I think it's, it's best if I, if I make... <coughs> I'm guessing it's a TV, right? Stay right there. It's, it's going to be okay. I should really wear a mask everywhere I go, right? Think of the amount of people that I've infected. I guess this is one way of getting into her bed. <laughs> We okay? What the hell is that light? She left me a note, did she? My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Okay, is there any two interactions to this? I don't need the money. Should we leave here? Is it the same time, no, I don't want to feel ungrateful, you know? That's the dilemma here, isn't it? Like someone offers you a gift and then you like refuse. It sometimes comes across the wrong way, doesn't it? I'll, I'll take it. She says she was rich, right? Bill stack. How much is it? Hundred dollars. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if she, 125 years. Give me 125 dollars, then that's nothing to her. Yeah, sure. She's rich. And now I could like just go around loot the whole place, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Let's leave. Okay, that's all like the stranger missions done. I think in this chapter, is there any more? Other than the veteran, right? There's another stage to that. Go hunting with him. But otherwise, I feel like that's done, right? In the hillbilly place, we did all that. I think the other sort of optional missions are the main ones, right? Where you sort of help people out, like with Rain's Fall and the Captain Monroe guy we're going to do. Might be one more, possibly. Otherwise, our focus will be more on the main missions now, I guess, and more exploration things, rather than just sides. This part of the map where Charlotte was, like Annisburg and Van Horn, that sort of area where Beaver's Hollow is and stuff, everything there's done, really. It's a few random encounters, so you can sort of just keep coming back to to see if anything's happened, if they were trigger or not, but otherwise, that's it. And there is this guy here, right, the hermit guy, who has the rare shotgun. Let's see if he's come back home. I have no interest in helping you, uh -huh. meeting you, befriending you, getting robbed by you, or you don't scare me, bugger Go off! It. There's like there's two people there. If you don't leave up I'm getting the gun, mate. Drop it. it. Doesn't seem like he does drop it, does he? Oh no, no, I, I learned my lesson last time when did hog tie him. Okay, he has dropped it. He's still alive, right? Yeah. Is that a shotgun? Yeah, it's just clipped to the floor. Please, please don't reverse. Please don't reverse it. Please don't. Good. I looked it up, it's a bug. I think, with one one of the mods, I think sort of causes a bug for it. Okay, rare shotgun. I just want the shotgun, mate, and then I'll let you go. Although uh, it's not letting me pick it up. Okay, what kind of shotgun is this? Oh, it's a double barreled shotgun. I didn't realise it's double barreled. I probably never use it. <laughs> just robs him of a gun for no reason. Okay, mate. Hey, hey, hey! I'll let you go. Off you pop. Don't draw a sidearm on me, okay? I'm leaving. Okay? You bastard. Seems a bit hurt. But you're alive, okay? Think of the positives. He's now going to be even more untrusting of people turning up to his house. 
I mean, I've already robbed him. <laughs> I've robbed him of all his goodies as well. <laughs> Left him with nothing. <laughs> so we head over to Captain Monroe and help him out with the repeaty reservation. Wonder amongst thieves. Mr. Morgan! Hello! How are you? How are you doing? Who is this? Oh, sick child, right? He wanted medicine, right? Some of these people are sick, right? Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. Uh -huh. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. That's angered me, hasn't it? Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. It would anger me too. Withholding vaccines from sick children. Fucking bastards. So this Colonel Favor, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Okay, yeah, well, I'll try to do this sneaky and without casualties. I obviously don't want to antagonize these guys into starting a war with the repeating reservation, or it looks like that is going to happen anyway, right? Because of Dutch. Well, I can't promise anything. If they retaliate, I am going to retaliate right. in equal measure. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Let's see a stagecoach robbery, isn't it, this mission? Come from Valentine, right? Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother. 
Uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Look at what's going on with my white shirt. My white union shirt, I might need to tweak that so it stops the light. Clipping. Okay, how, the, how am I meant to do this without killing them? Disarm them? Boy. I don't know how to stop them. I think I'm gonna have to hold them up, right? Hold it right there. Drop it. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. You guys Get surrendered. This guy still has a gun. Oh, my dead eye is like running out. What gun am I using here? Shit. Balls. Saving for the. Saving for the arm. What the hell is this gun? Why am I using this? You surrendered? Don't tell anyone he died. <laughs> Why is my dead eye not fucking refilling, mate? I keep eating stuff to refill it and the fucking circle's not going around. Medicine crate. Medicine crate. I guess I could have snuck on while they were still going, right? Been a bit more patient, wait for something to happen, for them to stop, maybe? Jumped on, then jumped off. I feel like he's going to get angry at me. I killed one of them. It was unintentional, man. It wouldn't have happened if I was able to use the dead eye to disarm, for fuck's sake. wonder if there's just some sort of glitch going on with my dead eye, right? Like what happened at the railroad place when it took me into it. And since then, right, it's just been a bit weird. Because like now, it's not really refilling the outside bar. I don't remember it being that slow in refilling it, right? Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Mm, well. I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. No problem, I... Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, mission completes. Right, we looks like we got another new mission pop-up now, too. Where, where's that? T? What is T? Trelawney, maybe? Yeah, Trelawney wants to speak to us. The final eye of conversation. Oh, that is to do with this reservoir, reservation. The meeting, right? He was talking about getting a meeting between the army guy and the Indians. I think that's what that is. I didn't realize that was for Trelawney. Maybe it's another one of those things, right? We go talk to the Trelawney and then we get interrupted. And then we still got these two main quests here. This jackass. And this jackass here, right? Not Sadie Dutch, Dutch the jackass, killing column. So we've got those two things to do. This one's like flashing though. Does that mean it's temporary? Optional? I don't know. We might choose to do that first anyway. I, I kind of just don't want to do anything for Michael Dutch, so. <laughs> I mean, as we are here, maybe I could explore a little bit further this way, maybe. Try and find that robot. Might be a few more things over here, maybe, to do. I have to see, right? Head west before then heading east to do one of these missions. And thank you for watching. That would be the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Cheerio.